Hello, people of the world. <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> hey, today I am putting in my luggage rack, or AKA grill. You, you know, just have this bad boy on here, and you know, it's like throw a little grill underneath there, <laughs> roll some hot dogs. I know this thing is heavy duty. This is from Sling Mods. And you can pick this up for $169, and I am going to show you how to install this. I have a 2019 Can-Am Riker Rally, and my name is Harry. Thank you for hanging out with me, and for those that have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and those that haven't subscribed, I know there's a lot of people that don't watch my videos, so please subscribe. I appreciate it so kick back and enjoy and let me get you the dimensions on this all right so this gets connected to your max mount your max mount is right here and this comes with the rally edition the it is 16 inches across for the luggage rack and we got about uh, 10 and a half inches this way um, like i said super heavy duty and it has you can put this in and you can have it sticking out a little bit further like i'm going to do or you can slide it in a little bit more however you want to so there's two ways of doing it and there are if we can have my wife zoom underneath there's four holes that connect to I don't know my fingers are everywhere underneath there but hopefully you can see that and okay so if you have a if you have a 600 or a 900 rally you will not have this mud flap right here and this mud flap <laughs> is connected to your max mount so I took out the screws already there's four screws that hold this mud flap in and there's one two three four and they're just stuck underneath there and you gotta take those out and so what i did just to get it out of the way is to put a bungee cord otherwise you could take it out i'm not going to take it out and if you're wondering well if it's a rally how come it has a fender so <laughs> i put the i had the fender installed at the dealer i was getting tired of my rear side getting wet in the rain and i just wanted a fender put on so i have the mud flap and a fender and like i said if you have you all you also need this max mount installed in order to have this luggage rack put on all right so if you have two people much easier to do it with two people i'm gonna do it myself and i am taking a pony clamp and just put it on the max mount and clamp it on grab Ooh, whoa oh whoa try it again it just did not want to cooperate we'll grab the other one like i said two people much easier okay so i am gonna start around here where it's less muddy <laughs> we have a uh, i was negative 20 degrees actually a negative 20 degrees and 
it was so cold the dog was stuck to the fire hydrant Oof, that's cold today we have a balmy 30 degrees so when you start you have four screws and it comes with four screws and they say to put a little bit of a loctite on and i'm going to put a little bit of blue thread loctite on and then you have you have your four holes and you got to line them up that's why i say start with the back and you have to find out where they are but the easiest i found out is push your max mount down just a like push your luggage rack down just a little bit and find it and you can kind of eyeball it that way and get it started all right that one is in okay then you need a 10 millimeter socket set and my finger is stuck in the hole and just tighten it up a little bit you have to get the next bolt on so you have four bolts yeah, I should have put on a little more Loctite that way it doesn't uh, spin out and you don't lose your bolt okay so you just <clears throat> get all four of those started and <clears throat> tighten them up and going over tight and you'll have those in and just for video time i'm not going to do it on film let's just pretend i tighten all four of those screws up put loctite on and you're set to go and now this is what it looks like <clears throat> you have your luggage rack you have your max mount and the next thing i want to put on is my milk crate my milk crate is from farm plast f-a-r-m plast and i'll link that down below also and i've had this on other videos and i've had a lot of comments positive and negative and i've really had some a lot of hate comments <laughs> like why can't you afford <laughs> something else and i go because i love it and this reminds me of the borg ship from star trek the next generation you will be assimilated Hmm, I wonder what Jerry Ryan is doing today. You guys remember 7 to 9? <laughs> anyway, I, I thought that would catch your attention. Okay, so I already cut out, if you look in, I already cut out this part right here. So what I did is, like, let's just flip it around. If you put it on this way, you can have these holes so what i did is i just took a jigsaw and i just cut these out and then i got this to here and it fits on so before your mud flap was connected by the four screws that we used for the rack but now there's nothing to hold it up but what I did, I just got a stainless steel bolt and uh, from the hardware store. And what I did, I just drilled with these two holes, drilled through the plastic. And then you put your bolt back up through here. 
and then just run a little bit your bolt on your top side to hold this in and then I should also when I get done filming I'll, I'll put a little bit of Loctite or another lock washer to hold it up and you guys with the rally you probably want to have your mud flap and there's a sling mod video on this but they do not say what to do with your mud flap so I'm just addressing the mud flap situation so I just drilled through put a bolt in stainless steel bolt so it doesn't rust and then you could have your mud flap and then to connect your boring ship on to <laughs> you guys are going to be all looking up a uh, seven of nine now i know it <laughs> you just uh zip tie these in and i just put in about uh you know 10 zip ties you can get the metal ones i just use the plastic ones and uh if you want to zoom in here robin i'll just you know just pull in a bunch of zip ties and it'll be good so that is it you have your milk crate and your luggage rack and it is all set to go and uh what what do you put right there oh what i put right here oh let's uh well <laughs> right here is the pack which i don't ha i have <laughs> so all these go in are you got a little thing in the back and that just slides in on your max mount and then drops in you got a little lever here voila and then so you have storage here <laughs> and uh storage with your milk crate so that is how to install your luggage rack and your milk crate if so you desire and you will be the sexiest guy around with one of these things <laughs> and thank you for hanging out with me today and as always keep it right and tight i'll see you next week bye